we have Pongorma. Shway. Cool. We'll be back. Can I get out of here, please? Okay. So now that we have access to killing ambulance skulls, we can go do Somsnosis thing without any serious danger to ourselves, which is fortunate because Somsnosis thing is kind of a pain. Let's see. Where is she? I thought she was like here. Um, Samsnosa is actually the protagonist of a different Mason Lindroth game called Samsnosa. Okay, it's not here, because this is the big maze that starts, like, Act 3, I want to say. Oops. Um, and as for why the name Samsnosa is so weird, the developer is Mason Lindroth. If you rearrange all the letters in Mason... I think like twice, you get Somsnosa. No, it's not this guy. Where the heck is Somsnosa? Gonna have to go watch my earlier older LP and find out where Somsnosa is. Oh, um, something annoying. In, I'm gonna save just to make sure it doesn't happen. But in my other, uh, in my long play, I got the boat stuck up here, I think. And I wasn't able to get the boat out of here. It was somewhere around here. I forget exactly where it was. Um, but I just, I, I couldn't go anywhere with it. And I just had to, uh, like, save and quit. And I lost a bunch of progress. And I lost a whole bunch of stuff for... You know, almost no real raisin. It was very upsetting. And someone commented on it. They were like, it made it really hard to focus with all the cuts. And like, there's one. I know that it was annoying, but like, come on. Up there is, I believe, Legend of Melting. We could try to just run it. Yeah, let's run it. Let's just give it a shot. Because I'm going to go through the whole game again just to get all the goodies. But yeah, it is unfortunately very annoying. This was actually the worst part of this game, in fact. And as a result, it was fixed in the sequel. Um, I enjoyed playing the sequel. It's just, you know, of course that game is an absolute delight to look at. Right, I've got to do the puzzle here. Um, I felt like there were a lot of times where I was just like having trouble loading the game and like it just created gigantic save files. Or not even save files, the videos that it made were huge. Um... Not even fully sure why. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't gotten a good rest. Let everything that wrongfully manifests or manifests not bad fire, let radiance that product shear, sniff domicile, a domicile safe. So I don't know what the hell that actually is, but like if it's the words of the sages or of the saints or whatever, and Wayne is hearing it, that's part of why. You know, maybe Wayne is, like, part of a, a cool, like, religious class or something. Yep. Because I talked about my theory that, like, Wayne may or may not be, like, um, a race of, like, priests, I guess. No. Okay. No. I don't want to fight you right now. All right. I guess I don't have a choice. It's just dark flame. 
Oh, whoops, I skipped on Gorma's turn. This is such an interesting concept. I love that. The idea of like dealing damage based on the person's like current health. And you're just going to keep whittling them down. That's cool. But yeah, ghosts have like crazy high evasion because they're ghosts. If I could hit them, it wouldn't be a problem. But in addition to also having that super huge evasion, they also have pretty good attack and the ability to drain your mana. All right. Dynamite found. Cool. It's like so hard to navigate this place. Go, <laughs> let me out. Can I not, guys, really, please? Yeah, another thing about fighting the ghost is that, like, because they drain your health, or they, they drain your, um, will, even, it's just, like, a pain to fight them. Because, <laughs> like, you're gonna, you're gonna be reduced to either using items. This was a thing that I started to talk about a little earlier. But, um, with this game's, like, the fact that death is not permanent... There's a lot of things where, like... Guys, really? There's a lot of things where, like... Oh, man. All right. Guess we're stuck. Like, you almost want to play the whole game and, like, never, ever use any items ever forever. Because, like, come on, you you shouldn't be using your items. They don't come back. Like, you can come back, and your XP can come back, and everything can come back. But the fact that your items can, like, never come back is, like, really annoying. <clears throat> now, granted, you can get so much money in this game that, like, you can buy a whole bunch of items, and, like, who cares? Cool. Yeah, you can buy so many items that, like, it really shouldn't be too much of an issue. But it is still just kind of a pain because, like, I don't want to have to buy items. It's a pain to go and get items. I don't enjoy, like, just grabbing, like, going to a store and buying 30 of something and then going to the next thing and buying 30 of something. It's not really why I buy, uh, why I play games. Play it for cool finger snapping. Please go away. I I am fully aware that there is a map, but it's just <laughs> kind of inconvenient to use the map. Beware the fat ghost. No. Oh. What? These guys are random? How unusual. Yeah, they're random. Oh. 
weird. Not paralysis. Something that was kind of funny. I played off. Um, the video game known as off. And I talked about how like, you know, I proudly announced to a group chat of my cohorts. Hey guys, I just beat off when I first played it. That was a very good LP actually. Off was a really good LP. Um, that's fine with me. But yeah, off was a fantastic LP. Um, cause it's a good game. But one thing that I liked about off is that off has the same sort of thing going on where it's like, it's a, it's an RPG maker game and it's just so weird. Kind of like this game or kind of like, um, what is that game that I'm thinking of? Space Funeral is the game that I think I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, just Space Funeral, where, like, if there wasn't, like, battles in this game, this would absolutely just be a horror game. And, of course, you know, there are tons of people who have just used... Juice Pack, nice. Who have used RPG Maker to make a horror game, and that's, like, what they really like to do with it. And I, I respect that. I think that's fun and cool. I love RPG Maker games, like, in general. Anything that is a, um... Anything that permits further creativity is something that I respect, you know? It's, um... It's why, like, I, I have, uh... Like, specific feelings about, like, say, fan fiction. Hey, speaking of fan fiction, I was talking about places on the internet where you can find Hylic stuff, and, like, there is actually a uh, relatively dedicated uh, fan base on AO3. We'll come back here and get it, but I really want this now. Health chant. All right. Guess we'll kill you all. This is the worst one, I think. Two of the, the dead meats is bad. Or no, two of the ghosts. The dead meets are the big fat guys downstairs. Yeah, I love the concept of partial havoc. That's funny. So I think you actually do get more juice um, for killing them with, with like magic attacks, but like, God, they also make it so you can't magic attack them. Like, it'd be a lot easier to kill if they weren't such dicks about it, you know? Come on, please. <laughs> Just embarrassing. But yeah, um... So we don't have her yet, but she's the only confirmed female in the party, and she appears to maybe be a human, which might be interesting. Um... Oh, there they're all going. Whatever. Um, but yeah, Samsnosa is wearing a helmet. Um, also, Pongorma is actually wearing a helmet. People commented on the fact that his face looks completely different in the second game. And it's because that's not his face. He's wearing a helmet. Um, humorously, his helmet is described as quadrapronged because it has four horns on it. And... Come on, quadrupronged, that's awesome. I love that. Still not open. Just this is a hard to read map downstairs. <laughs> Go away, I don't want to fight. 
Come here, someone's dog upstairs. Okay. Okay. Still won't budge? What am I missing? Okay, let's start clearing some guys out. Oh, cool. Yeah, the dread the, the dread meats are the fat ones. The generic ghosts are just upstairs. I don't actually need that, so let's just pop that. Well, it's my wife. One moment. All right, hey, we're back. Uh, everything's fine. We don't, we don't have anything to worry about. But just one of those things, I suppose. I'm gonna try to finish this. All right, cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right.